Uh, the Young Conference is just kind of a, a music industry and networking event really. Um, and the idea is basically to get like-minded people and I guess industry in experts from, from the music industry to provide uh, a platform for people to learn to enable themselves to do what they want to do. This year is sort of the exciting, the, the coup if you will, is we've, we've got Tom Robinson from BBC Six Music and 2468 Motorway uh, fame coming to speak. The work he does with the BBC introducing shows, um, but also on his Freshnet blog, you know, he writes a lot of articles about empowering people to, 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 to do what they can do themselves. And, and I think that'd be really important to have him around and kind of impart his knowledge for people. Um, we've also got, very exciting, we've got Sean Adams who started Drowned in Sound, that's, that's his website. Um, he, but he does a lot of like talking and, and thoughts on the way that digital music is moving forward. So he's going to kind of like lead a lot of the discussions that we're doing and kind of move it, move it in a way that, that hopefully a lot of the, the uh, attendees can relate to. Another guest we've got is uh, Darren Hemmings who used to be the digital marketing manager of Pias, who are kind of quite a big distribution company and he, he's now gone um, he's now gone on, on, solo on his own with his own sort of consultancy, but he's run some like really big like digital marketing campaigns for bands like Entity Carry, as well as working with brands. So hopefully that's going to be like a, a really interesting insight into how you can use sort of the internet and and that kind of those platforms to to sort of be visible online and, and and gain fans as well as everything else. On a local level, we've got we've got a host of people involved in putting on gigs and and so on. Um, and, and artists and people have been there. We've got the guys from I Like Press. Uh, we've got Richard Watson who runs the 360 um, live gigs up at the library. Uh, we've got Alan Raw from BBC introducing as well, coming down. Um, and a, lot, a large part of the, the afternoon session of the unconference is basically about trying to get people to, to talk to each other and talk to the right people and hopefully share as much information as possible. Uh, this year's event, we've, um, we've, the idea was to focus on kind of digital platforms and the way that music is changing with the way that we, the consumption of it really. So the, the two main panels that we're running, there's going to be one that's that's kind of based on making the most out of your of your digital presence and about promoting and marketing, but also just kind of having your music online. Um, and there's an, another panel that's that's more journalist based and that will be useful for bands and, and kind of budding journalists and all, all sorts of people about the way things are changing and, and the best way to approach that side of things for your music as well. And then like I say, the, 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 the afternoon is um, what we're trying to do throughout the day actually is break down a lot of the structure of the day and create as much time as we can for, for networking. Um, we've got a lot of things going on the day where we're asking everyone to sort of t tell us what they want to get out of the day. So we're going to have kind of a team of, of, um, of helpers on the day who will hopefully be able to point you in the right direction of experts or, or even local people, other bands that are in a similar situation to you. So hopefully we can kind of get people talking and, and, and helping each other. I think, I mean, I think Live at Leeds is important because it, is, it kind of becomes a focal point for, for the music activities within Leeds, like something that sort of the Leeds Festival doesn't do because it's not really related to kind of every band, but there's sort of a, a level where like almost any band can get involved with Live at Leeds in, in, in some point, like even if they, you know, they can't get to play, they'll know someone who's playing, they'll, there'll be an opportunity at venues to kind of talk to people and do stuff. And you know, it's nice how it's developing, we have the unconference, we have the, the, the main bit of gigs on a Saturday, we have the cool hangover gigs that are a lot more sort of casual and, and less hectic than running around on a Saturday. And, and you know, we've got the, the, the football competition now on the, the Monday, which I'm involved in as well, which just seems to be one of the, the greatest sort of social occasions for bands in Leeds really, is a, a way for bands to kind of get together away from, uh, you know, loud music basically. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm really. I'm really going to be really busy. I'm uh, for the Saturday. I'm definitely going to see Alec Trains because I'm really interested to see them do the new album. I'm playing with Sam Airy at eight at eight pm at the Wardrobe. It's a plug. Um, so that doesn't leave a lot of time, especially when you factor in the FA Cup final. Um, and three pm seems to be every band. The, the other band that I really wanted to see was was Def Club, who I think from Southampton. But, but they're playing three pm, the same as Alec Trains, um, and so is Fran Rogers, who I wanted to see. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. <laughs> One of the big things is hopefully we're going to have like a, a lot longer time to plan it next year. We always tend to start like two or three months in, in advance. 
hopefully because of various things we're developing more partnerships every year um, and we know that if we start them earlier we can do more stuff and get more organizations involved which is which is one of the main things sort of bring bringing a lot more partners you know people like PRS PPL and so on and so forth and kind of make them involved um, and hopefully as well with speakers we can bring maybe even try and bring speakers from further afield you know maybe even out from out of the country you know there's a lot of great people like the guys from Topspin and SoundCloud and The Orchard who are a great digital distribution company um, who, who are great and speak at a lot of these kind of events but obviously kind of we need to have, have planning and so on and so forth but if we, especially if we keep doing things along there's a lot of interest in kind of investigating the digital side of what people can do with their music um, yeah there's some really great guys that we can, we can hopefully reach out to.